one of the work planned was to build a cockpit table for Ellos, to dine out or for a simple aperitif at sunset. I thought a lot about how to build it. Some inspiration also comes from, uh, say, life, but I had to optimize its creation because Ellos is a fantastic bar and deserves a fantastic custom-made cockpit table. Stefano, the owner of Linea Steam, the one who made me the deck of my board, gave me two pieces of fantastic tech to build my table, based on the dimension of the original one built by the Alberassi company. Mine was still in good condition, but I didn't like how it was made, so I decided to make another one better engineered. Stefano gave me those two pieces of tech but I can't make a folding one, so I decide to cut one part of this one and after that prepare a project like this in the picture. This work took me about three weeks to finish it because I needed to glue some piece of thick with epoxy and after that prepare everything. But the result is this one, you can see in the picture and is perfect to install the lagoon support. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm at Top Tech and now I'm take out the tape that keep the head of the table, the thick head, um, glued with epoxy resin. The epoxy is as cured, so it's now to take out everything and prepare the piece of wood to be sand and flat as the original thickness. As you can see here, you can see the head. I leave about one millimeter for each side. Now it's time to prepare the piece of tick to be sand in the correct machine. Michele helped me in this task, you can see here. You need a very good hand to do this work because if you make a mistake, you make a bumps on the wood. And I prefer that Michele do this one. And in this um, system, I completely flat all the excess of tick of the head at the same thickness of the table and you will see in the future there is not too much difference from original the table and the head now it's time to calibrate it with a precision machine I won't put the table in about 2.5 millimeters and the machine do the work it's about uh, 120 grits and after that we move to about 220 grits. All this because I need to send to work machine. With this simple method, I drew the correct corner cure of the table and the use of this hand machine allowed me to achieve the desired result. You need some skill to do this uh, type of work. You need to be very perpendicular to the table. If you make a mistake, you ruin your table. Also in this case, Michele helped me to do this one. And here you can see the result. Great. Some work that I did in this table, I got help from the friends that have a lot of practice. This is my practice, prepare all the contour of the table, the correct inclination about 45 degrees, sand to take out all the sign of the saw and prepare everything to be warnished. I'm very well with the contour quality and I check everything and I think it's very good. I test if this close is the same size. Yes, it's great. After the milling machine make the perfect space to install the hinges, now it's time to flattening the imperfection around this uh, work on the wood and with a small piece of uh, sandpaper I take out all the chips on the wood.
Okay, it's time to try with the inks. I test if they work well. Insert before uh, fix and check if they work well. You need to make a very good job to have a good result. So I check many times that all the stuff go together very well. Now I am sending a piece of tick because I need the power. Why? Because with the tick power I will fix the chips on the table. I will use some food power, some uh, warnish, you can see, a little warnish. And mix with the wood tick powder because when I correct the imperfection on the table, you doesn't notice the difference. You can see with a small spatula, I fix the chips on the wood because when you warnish the table, you don't notice more those chips that are normally uh, occur when you use the mini machine, especially in the tick wood. Okay, now it's time to bring to dry and we will see the result very soon. Another thing I need to do is to make more bigger the countersink of the inks because I need that the screw sit very well in the hole. You need a flat installation. Meanwhile, the table went to the warnish station and now you can see the finished table, completely warnish. I warnish the tick because uh, I don't take outside for many times, but only to have a dinner or have a aperitif in the cockpit, so warnish is a good idea. Now it's time to install definitely the inks with the correct uh, screw and to get a very flat installation, so when you close the lids, the table closed very well. I used the drill and after that the last two uh, turn with the hand screw because I have more control in the screw. And this is the last screw that I need to uh, fix and the table is 90% ready uh, to use. But before do this one I need to install the Lagoon support. So this is the last check of my table, if closed well, I check many times because uh, you need a very soft uh, uh, folding of the table, you can see the nice color, I warnish with matte uh, warnish and now my friend uh, Michele is uh, taking all the measure to install the base of the lagoon support. Uh, sometimes it's a good thing that uh, people with experience do this one. I don't want to ruin my table for a mistake in measurement, so I prefer to get help for my friend, Michele. And now we center the base of the lagoon support perfectly on the middle of the table. And we check the correct uh, um, distance between the two parts of the table. Uh, we check many times because the table must be balanced. So here is helping me. We put the support uh, on the table and we start to drill and insert the screw. I use all stainless steel uh, uh, screw and I protect them with a teff gel to avoid any corrosion. Coming back with Andrea at the shipyard, we start to drill the wall of the cockpit where we need to install the base of the support of the lagoon table. Making hole in the board is always a deal, you need to be very precise to avoid any problem. And Andrea didn't make any mistake. We decided to put the base of uh, the support of the table astern the main sheet traveler because for us is the best position. These are the two pieces of nylon wedge supplied with the table to ensure that the position it under the base the table remains perfectly aligned. Unfortunately for my bot, the thickness of those support is less than my needs. And therefore, calculation the thickness of this wedge exactly, I decided to bring them 
to 11 mm for the upper side and 3 mm for the lower side to have the right inclination of the table when installed and make sure that it is perfectly straight. I use Corian and Franco with the Mili machine make a perfect support with the same color of the cockpit unlike those that are white nylon and look very horrible. And also I prepared the backing plate of the table in mahogany and I warnish because the original was a normal plywood horrible for the looking inside the board so I make this uh, backing plate. And this is my bag for the table, is a cardboard uh, bag that I buy from Amazon and fit perfectly in my table. So my table is protected. And this is the table. My trawler, main set. You can see. You can eat in the cockpit behind the main uh, sheet traveler or you can move in this way and eat in front of the in front of the main sheet traveler. There is a space here for one people and there for two and it's quite good. I think this is the best position I found to install my table and uh, here there is the space to enter in the cabin to bring the food the people sit down there it's not easy to move in but here is already good for the other one this is not too much bigger so it's easy to store and I use this uh, keyboard case Amazon that take oh my friend is coming for food hello Hey guys, this is the end of the episode with my table. Will be great to get some aperitif and some dinner in this table under the sun and under the stars. Thank you for uh, joining me in this adventure. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like the video, please remember to leave thumb ups. Ciao guys, we see you in the next. More coming.